What's up? What's up? This is John with Thumber Talk, and today we are going from this stock 2.6 to this IMS 3.5. guys you know us and you know we're about extending the ride any way we can and what better way to do that and then to add some gas we are going to increase the size of the 300s gas tank by almost a full gallon we're going to go from a 2.6 to a 3.5 just a couple things we need to do to swap this over so let's take a look at them now we need to pull the post out of here obviously drain the gas once we've done that you're going to want to remove the petcock and install your oem petcock into the IMS tank. It's not a four stroke, so you don't have the fuel pump to move or anything like that. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple swap. You'll wanna fill it up with gas, check your connections for any leaks, anything like that. But outside of that, you're done, you're ready to ride. For longer. Done. Check it out, guys. This is cool. Fits well. Comes up a little bit higher than like the stock tank. This is a little bit of the smaller side. One-way check valve there. No increase in the profile of the bike. Now that's critical for me. I'm not interested in a tank that makes it, you know, a couple inches wider or whatnot. Rider perspective. Doesn't look like it'll be changed at all. Which is good, don't like that to change a whole lot. All right guys, we are locked and loaded now with the 3.5 IMS tank. Only one thing left to do and that's test the additional range. On the last 2.6, getting anywhere between 80 and 100 miles, depending on how aggressive we were riding. Uh, that's including reserve. Uh, so maybe we can get up into the 130, 50, 160, who knows, but we're definitely gonna check it out. Definitely gonna see what it takes to run this thing dry and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Till then guys, take care.